to my daydream Smoking on some OG Well, I'm homegrown and I'm leaning on to my love My love Oh, she acting like she don't know me Baby girl, I'm that OG Cause I'm homegrown and I'm leaning on to my love Okay, showered, second cup of coffee. My first one wasn't quite right, so made a second one. Hunter's up and showered as well. Starting work. Anyways, so I wanted to chat with you about our schedule coming up. Okay. Um, our travel and how it relates to Yesterday, Hunter and I picked up our favorite salad from Chop Shop. It is the best salad in the world. It's the kale and quinoa, and we add chicken, so I'm gonna toss that up for lunch and eat outside, because it's so nice. Okay, brought my salad outside. It is seriously a summer day, you guys. Like, I wanna say it's like 75, 80 degrees. It's so beautiful out. Um, and so I'm gonna enjoy the patio furniture and eat my lunch, because why not? Um, I wanted to show though these bowls that I got because they're little salad bowls and they're the perfect size. I was inspired the last time we went to California. Uh, I went to Blue Barn, which is like one of the best restaurants there and they make really fresh salads and fresh food. And they had these salad bowls and I looked at the bottom, I took a picture, Googled them, found them on Amazon and ordered them for the house because they're literally the perfect salad bowl ever. So I'm obsessed with them. I'll link them below. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy my lunch. Hunter's eating his salad, working. Joy was out the back taking some pictures and Restoration Harvard just got here. I know, we um, ordered a console table a while back from Restoration Hardware and it just got in and it looks so good. So it's for the entryway. Let me turn on the light. Here it is, so nice. It's kind of like a black, almost cement look, but way more our vibe. We had like a little shelf there, but it wasn't really working. So it's kind of like this. It gives off like a black steel look, but it's not steel. It's like, I don't know, wood maybe? And then we've had these at White Ottomans, which we've been waiting for the table to come to put underneath. That was like kind of the vision. So I'm gonna do that right now actually because I want to see what it'll look like. Oh, there's gorgeous, darling. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. They do stick out a little bit, but I think that's kind of what they're supposed to do. So I don't really mind it. If it was like perfectly square, that would look weird. So I like it. And then we ordered some sconces to go on either side of this painting, but we haven't installed them yet. So it gives it a very like villa feel, which I really like. We're going on a walk. We're going on a walk. I know you're freaking out. You're so excited. Oh my goodness. Going on a walk because it's literally a summer day out. So nice. So nice. Well, we're not going on a walk because it's nice. We walk even when it's not nice. But it's just so nice out. But it's so nice that, just today. that it makes it even more exciting. Let's go, Goosey. Let's go that way. That way? Yeah. I think we do go that way usually. We're using it this way. But our new, but our new loop, our new loop is that way. Really? I thought we'd done it more than that. Oh wow, that is glorious. Some lap ap lap action going. Make him swim a little bit to wash off his. Tire him out. A little too much water. You're okay. You're happy. There you go. Now you're clean. Okay, we're home and heating up some dinner. Um, we actually went to. Uh, Hunter's brothers last night to visit the twins and they have like a bunch of people 
bringing them meals, you know, when you have a baby and people bring you food. So they had leftover lasagna, like so much of it that they gave us some leftovers. So I'm heating that up right now. Um, and I wanted to show you this hoodie I have on. Oh, that's not working. It's super big. Where's it from? It's from Boohoo. It's, it's from the, um, so they have like, I think men's plus size now too. It's, it's called Big and Tall. Oh nice. And I'm not tall in the slightest, but I <laughs> like that it's really long. So I got a, what size is it? XL? Uh, yeah, XL. XL. That's cool for like, if you want to go on a walk. Well, yeah, and then it looks pretty like, cute, like open. Or like wear to the gym. Yeah, it's just comfy, so. It'll be my boo haul, which will probably have been up. Well, might not be up yet. Nice, I like to eat. Coming. I'm hungry. Me too. We're about to film spritz. We're about to film spritz and chips, so celebrate. Spritz and chips. Long. Actually, if you guys are new, spritz and chips is like a segment we do. It's kind of like a like a podcast style. So we've, we've explained spritz and chips more than eight. I know, but people might not know. No, I, I know. What the hell is that? I know. Spritz and chips. It's just the. It's the. It's the title of our talking segment about different topics like deeper topics of things like adulting and yeah relationships and more stuff. just like sit down serious rather than like vlog yeah but we go deeper if you like we're that. about to film one again okay. finally sometimes we do like relationship q a's or like relationship dilemmas and issues stuff like that it's fun like an advice segment or our, yeah. our opinion on certain things however Wait, tonight we're work? doing something else that's been requested for a long time and budgeting we're doing budgeting Woo! Budgeting money, tips, hacks, money, money. things you should know as a young adult when you're graduating college, when you're moving from job to job, everything when you're saving you money for a house, yeah. everything you need for All budgeting. The finances. We're about to film that, but usually part, when we do spritz and chips, we have a cocktail, and we like to get a little litty before spritz and chips. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not no, no, no not really. I mean, kind of sometimes, kind of. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, not really, but like it's just like five drinks. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. We only have like somewhere between two to five. We <laughs> cut ourselves off after six. No, we don't. It's we like don't. two drinks. We yeah, we we would max have like one or two drinks during spritz and chips. But sometimes if we like don't want to drink a lot during spritz and chips, we'll just take like a shot and then have a glass of wine. So yeah, it just kind of gets you like relaxed. It's just like having one drink. Yeah. One shot. But one fun thing about spritz and chips is we always try like a new cocktail. And so the one tonight isn't gonna be necessarily like a cocktail ingredient. We're just gonna have wine. Yeah. But that's something to look forward to on Spritz and Chips is we always have a cocktail and a snack. Uh -huh. And we usually show you what cocktail we're making. So we're, we're in our pantry, coming to our alcohol cabinet. We don't have any, we don't have any You know what we could do? Vodka. What? Jack Daniels? No. Oh, no. One more to the right. For Mezcal? I feel like Mezcal you want to sip on though. Right. Oh no, I'm talking about for a cocktail. Oh, well yeah, we'll be in a mix You want to do a, a Mezcal tangerine? I mean, it's probably so good, right? Smoky. Oh, here's vodka. Is that crappy, though? No, it's good. I'm gonna do vodka. Vodka shot? Yeah. A sapphire shot? Gin? Gin's not bad. Is gin shot? I've never had a gin shot before. I know, I don't think you're gonna do that, really, but we could do it. Look at Let's this try organization. It. Let's experiment. My woman with the org. I know, I know. All right. Pretty good. Um, you okay. need to get the we always get questions about these little shot glasses. I don't even think they're shot glasses, but we use them. I think they are. They look more modern. Not, I got them at Crate and Barrel. Yeah, but we broke one, so we need to get them. We out. broke one. Whoa. Wait, are we doing gin? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is this a double shot right here? Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm already getting the chills. Oh no! Hey, wait. Oh, sorry. We, we should, here, you want to put the, the Yeti so you can chase it, or do you? Sure. You want one? Yeah. I like to think it's, of myself as a it, no chaser kind of guy. It's weird to me though that a lot of guys do that. They're like, oh no, no, I don't need a chaser. And it's like, I don't, why does it taste any better to, to it, you than, it, it it's like a tough thing I feel like. Maybe, maybe it's like drinking your coffee black. I prefer my coffee black. But though. you actually like that. But like this. You actually like to take that without a chaser? I like to make, I, I know I'm taking the shot right if I don't need a chaser. Interessant. Like, Okay. I promise you, if you just like do the whole breathe into your nose, out through your mouth, the routine. Well, yeah, I mean, I am good at that. However, if you do a chaser, pour the, the drink in and leave it, and then take the shot with the drink that's already in your mouth. Oh, yeah, I'm a pro follow. at chasing. This is, oh, you want a chasing tutorial? Okay, kids. Said, drink some alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I should know. Let's go, let's take a shot.
Yep, I didn't taste it. I did. You did. But that was my that was my first that. ever like that. just straight gin shot. It's actually it's kind of sweet, so not bad. What is up, peeps? Okay, it is the next day. I am the fairest I've ever been. Well, not really, but oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, it went away. Um, I have about 90 layers of spray tan that has just been on and on and on from Nashville and, you know, filming and stuff. And you guys know I tan all the time, but it's gotten to a point where I need to just really strip down to the very bottom layer, get rid of all the tan so I can redo a tan. So I think I might like soak in the bath later and just really scrub it off. Usually that is like the best way for me to do it. <clears throat> but Hunter and I... Or have a normal work day. I just made a smoothie for lunch. Mm. I'm not very good at making smoothies. This was a really random mixture because we have no food in the house. Literally all we have is like frozen fruit in the freezer. So I was like perfect. And peanut butter. So I'm like I'll make a smoothie. That'll keep us full. Um, but I've been organizing my studio. Trying to get together my office today. Uh, my studio. I... Like, as you guys know, it's so many packages and things like that. It's really hard to stay organized and it gets messy really fast. So I've just gone through and kind of organized this system. I've got a new video coming with this stuff. It's like all my favorites. It's um, going to be a new Boohoo video. And I just got in these three packages from Nasty Gal. So I've got so much stuff to unpack and put on that rack. What I do is usually put on the Morning Toast podcast on YouTube. And celebrity intercept. And then I'll put on the podcast and I'll unpack clothes, clean it up. I already cleaned most of it, so just kind of just continuing to organize. Well, I should show these really quickly. I'm really excited about these because, as you guys know, I have my Prada boots that I love and my Doc Martens. And these are from Nasty Gal. They're basically a fusion of the two styles. They have that really chunky moto bottom. And then they're also kind of like a Doc Martin. So I really wanted to have these to show you guys like an affordable pair that gives the same look. And I actually just really like them. So excited about these. Um, I'll link them below. But they're if you're into the boot style, I think they're really cute. One other thing I want to show really quick too. Because I ordered these <clears throat> Nasty Gal denim shorts. Um... And they're so cute. I love, these are my favorite pair of denim shorts, shorts by A. Goldie. They are a little bit more expensive. They're like around the 100 range. And look how similar. Hold on, can you do this? Hold on. These are. You guys. Is that not insane? I mean, what a dupe. I can't believe it. So I'm excited to have found like a really good affordable option for these shorts that look really similar. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm about to get in the bath and let my spray tan soak off. So, I'm not getting my hair wet or anything, which is why I have it up. I put on the Bondi Sands Tan Eraser and let it sit for almost about five minutes. Then I'm gonna get in and let that soak even more. The water should really break it up and then I'm gonna scrub it off. Um, and I just use like this um, exfoliating mitt. This is from Loving Tan but they make them on Bondi Sands. Um, any tanning line really has them. I'm also putting on a mask because my skin has been a disaster ever since I've been traveling. And this is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Energizing Radiance Mask. Come on, there we go. There it is. And my skin just feels really dull, it's breaking out. I just needed like, it needed to be like brightened up and just revived. So we'll see if this does that. 
Um, and then my new robe from Mason, Mason Gray. They make really cute robes, tie-dye, different patterns and stuff like that. So I'm loving the tie-dye. Got my Yeti and I'm gonna get in the bath. Okay, okay good morning. Good morning. Yesterday, it's Friday. I think we ended the vlog kind of roughly yesterday or ended the day yesterday. Yeah. Kind of roughly. Yeah. Or abruptly. Um, we we're going to go get Julia's eyebrows threaded, which we didn't. We didn't. They're so bad. Look a little close up. Hold on. Oh my God. So furry. It's out of control, you guys. So, you get them thinned out. Two things. We were out of espresso beans this morning. Yeah. And we were out of uh, groceries. We have no food. We have a little bit of work and editing to do. And we work from home every day, as you know. And a lot of times it's like admin work, filming, um, you know, doing stuff like that, and editing. And it's nice to kind of get out and about to edit. So, because we need coffee. And food. And food. To survive. The we figured we'd bring our backpacks to the yeah. Starbucks Reserve, which is actually, there's only like a few people in there. Yeah. And we're going to work from there for two hours probably. Yeah. Get some coffee there. And then, and then get, go to the grocery store. Get food if there's any groceries left. Because yep. everyone's freaking out. So trying to make a day of, of, since we're out and about, and we shouldn't be going out and about too much because of the... Stuff. But you know every European, well not European, but other people are saying that we're overreacting. Is I mean it, I know the Italy situation is not, yeah. but the reason why Italy got so bad is because they weren't prepared because China didn't tell anybody how bad it was. So. It's not like, oh, it's so bad, like, it's just that they were underprepared and they don't have the resources. Well, it's that, fine. it's also the fact that it's not like, oh, we're panicking, like, we're gonna get sick. It's we're panicking because we don't, like, we want to take all measures to stop the spread. Exactly. We want to kill, like, the... We want to cut it off. Cut it off, exactly. I know. So, any, um, anywho, anyways, anywho. Don't be afraid. Yeah, we're trying to kill four birds with one stone today. Yep. Getting some stuff done, getting those vids up. Coffee, groceries, editing. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Maybe nails. I don't know, are they even doing nail services? Um, because you know, I saw. It is weird though, like it is sad. It almost feels like. An apocalypse. Like, like we're like a war. You know, like it's like everyone yeah. stay inside, there's war. We're like, yeah. you know, I don't know. I know, it's weird, right? So it, feel, it just feels weird. I don't know what to think about it. And but then. What kind of coffee are you gonna get? I think just like a Pike Place roast or a blonde roast. Can I get pour over? No. Have you ever I'm had their pour, pour over? Overs? Gal. Have you had have, have, have you had their pour overs here? Um. Yes, I have. They're good. They're a perfect temperature. I'm just like a really basic coffee drinker. I'm I, not like I don't need craft fancy nothing like that. I'll literally like I'm a McDonald's gal. Like McDonald's coffee all the way. I don't care. Yeah, I'm not a coffee snob. I mean, I'm a coffee snob. Is like. I don't, I, will, I don't prefer a Keurig. For some reason, a Keurig, Jessica and I were talking about this on the girl's trip. She's like, I can't do Keurig either. I'm like, I taste like like stale coffee to me. I don't know what it is. Not a fan of Keurig. Can't do it. Not a fan of Nespresso. No. Well, I drink a Nespresso. That's better. But I just, for anything just fresh. I don't care. I just want the beans to be have been ground that morning and like put in a machine to drip. And I just feel like it tastes better. Pour over know. is delicioso. Yeah. yeah. Try to pour over today. I think you'll really like it. It's like so good here. Really? So it's like my favorite pour over. It's just not my like vibe. Well, I think it's because like you you know like it's like too it's much like, flavor. It's like acidic. Yeah, they don't like it. But it's not here. I don't know why they they do it well here. They probably do it right. Anyway, hey, I thought any, maybe we should make a pact. Should yeah. we stop? Should we? I think we should um, cut out fast food. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we've been talking about that a lot. Not Okay, well, really, the only fast food we eat is Chick-fil-A, Chick -fil but if we, I think we should cut it off. But I think, like, Shake Shack. I know Shake Shack. We went there with friends because it was, like, a friend meal. We didn't pick it. But no more. No more, no more. No more. I think, like, it's time. It is time. We, we've been eating, eating really unhealthy just because we've been traveling a lot. I, I mean, we really. say that. We're pretty, we're still, like, pretty on top of Probably our just game. Probably just eating normal, but you guys know how we like to eat, like... We try someone to said eat. someone said we're in someone commented on a video and said we're in denial that we like love fast food <laughs> and like as much as I agree with that because we eat chick-fil-a a lot I don't think we love it I think for where we live it's so easy I know it's more out of convenience I mean honestly if there was a chop shop next to the chick-fil-a I would pick the chop shop over the chick-fil-a but some it's people, just down some the people street. might consider chop shop as fast food 
or oh, Chipotle. Chipotle is probably it's fast casual. It's fast casual. We're in fast casual food. That's what we're into. Fast casual. I think most nice. people are. But honestly, it's it's if if we had a Whole Foods by our house or a Central Market by our house. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we would be. We into would it. cook every meal, but I know. it takes us forty minutes to get to a place like Sprouts is actually pretty good. We can start shopping I, at Sprouts. I know. You know what I think we should do? I think we should give up Chipotle and Chick Fil A. Yeah. At least till summer. I think we're, we eat it a lot. I mean, Chipotle, it's so good. It's so good. And I've, I've been eating, like, um, vegetarian bowls. Yeah. But I think we'll just avoid, you know, it if we... Like, honestly, I, I, think, their, I think their ingredients are pretty solid. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's better than going and getting yeah. a burrito at Taco Bell. Yeah. So, I think, it's, I think it's pretty solid in the sense of, like, if you go and get... Like, what I've been getting lately, it's vegetarian... I've been getting my whole normal go-to. Yeah. Minus chicken. Right. You and know when I went good. to Taco Bell when I was hungover? In Nashville? It literally looks like dog food. It looks like dog food. <laughs> and someone DM me and goes, dang, I miss that dog food. And I go, it is dog food. It literally looks like that. Like the meat is like saucy. And yeah. I'm, I'm actually, to be honest, I'm burned out on Chick-fil-A. Like, I don't I know, it's it. not even, it's not even that great because we eat it so The much. times we order Chick-fil-A now, it's typically when, like, we're at home and we're like, oh, what are we going to do today? Like, what are we going to have for, we're like, do you want to just order Chick-fil-A salads to go? Okay. I know. We're going into Starbucks, okay? We'll see you in there. Just finishing up at Starbucks. It's kind of a ghost town. Okay, raining out. Woo! And we're gonna brave the grocery store because we can't survive the apocalypse unless we have food. Yeah. So, oh, it's, it's gonna be really crowded there or completely empty. I think it's gonna be, yeah, either there's gonna be no food and a lot of people or just no food and no people. We'll see. We're at the grocery store loading up on vegetables. I feel like it's packed. It is packed. People this place like is wow. packed. It feels packed more it than normal busier. on an on a afternoon. But they don't have any potatoes, like regular potatoes. All right, we're grabbing espresso beans. Remember, you want to look at the uh, roasted on? The lines are crazy long. It's insane, madhouse in here. We just got home from the grocery store, and we're about to clean out the uh, clean out the refrigerator from all the older bad stuff and put in new-ish, all the new stuff we got. So. Doggos cannot get the coronavirus. I think you'll be okay. I like coke, but only if you're mixing it with Jack, then it's dope. Put it in my cup, then hand me the smoke. I ain't trying to think about the world. I got too many problems. I'm like, me. Goose, could you give us some tips on how to survive the coronavirus? Mm. You got nothing? You're not gonna drink it? You might as well drink it now. Hunter has this weird habit. He takes Topo Chico's out oh, of the check, fridge. Check the this is our, oh my God. That is a disaster. Wait, you're gonna stain it. Okay, he takes them out of the fridge, pops the cap off, open and then them. he leaves go, them around. I, I grab something and then I go to my chair and I forget that they're out and then I open it up. And you'll find open Topo Chico's just lukewarm everywhere, full, because he forgets to drink them. And then, then you'll, I, put them in the fridge I know, them. and then you drink them, I am. Um, okay, wait, where were we? What did we last vlog? Um, where were we out? Before we had sex. Hunter. <laughs> no. um, we're gonna head over to Hunter's parents' house. We, last vlog? we vlogged when we got we home. We were at, at the grocery store. I'm packing the grocery store here. I'm packing the grocery store. So we've just been hanging out for a little bit. It's the evening time now. We're gonna go over to Hunter's parents' house for chili. Did you show our uh, little front thing? 
yeah, I showed that yesterday, but did I show them the styling? Okay, I finally styled up the front entryway piece. Well, well, I like it simple. I realized that about myself. Hold on. I actually, I don't like this on this table. No, 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 yeah. I think just what I, I realized what we like is like very simplistic decor. It's always like one item. Like, what do we do this? that is like too much. This, like, this is a little busy. I think I like like really simple minimalist almost. It looks so much like better. Better off just one item, but I was just leaving it there because we put our keys there. Anywho, um, yeah, so we're gonna go with this cute new bag from Nasty Girl. Anyway, so my Hunter's mom made chili for the apocalypse day, so we're gonna go over there and eat some Frito chili pie um, while we wait out. I'm just expecting this whole weekend to just be locked in, so probably end this vlog soon and then we will start vlogging again like the full weekend. And I'm like, we might as well just take advantage of it. <laughs> And do a bunch of stuff and like get stuff done around the house and all that. Huh, Goose? Don't you think we should use this time wisely? What do you think about the coronavirus? Hmm? Absolutely nothing. You have nothing to say? You are so ignorant. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go. I'm just wearing sweatpants, my Louis Vuitton sneakers, Boohoo Puffer, sold out now, and this little bag from Nasty Girl. I love this. I want a Chanel bag in this style. In the white. I think white for spring is really cute. Get easy off a red wine. What? Oh. Let's go. Whatever. You and me in these headlights, engine idling in your drive. Four to five and a goodbye. Yeah. I should probably get to going. Sun will rise before we know it. But while the moon is still.